Gains penetration at the cost of recovery time. Show me. I think you're doing more damage as melee. He's resistant to slashing. I'm here. Which sucks. What if I just made them all? The dagger slashing and not piercing, really? Hmm. I wouldn't have thought that. Oh, I need to turn his AI off. AI. AI. Okay, because I want. To, I need to be able to cast things like pain block for robust. I need to be able to cast the fear, which is going to be good. What is this? Some great penetration. Leaps to additional targets. That's that thing we keep seeing, but I'm wondering where it went. Tinker's got sales targets. Shaken and confused. Another buff. Yeah, I need you to be doing buffs. Ahoy. Aye, aye. I really want to get rid of all those other dudes first, but we did, we did okay. I see a soul in the darkness, one ready for raping. Are these considered beasts? Is a cave grubbling considered a beast? It is. I'm going to mind control them. I'm here. I'm on it. You guys can tank. When we get in combat, you're mine. May I be a candle in the night? Show me. <laughs> this is futile. Become mine. Actually, I wonder if that's a beast. I could charm him too. That's a possibility. Oh. Hey. We had some good times. This isn't working. We got two of them. Um, I need some more buffs though. So where are you? Yeah, more robust. Another for the queen. You're not casting anything yet. How many are you at? 43. You'll need 40 for this, so... And it's an interrupt. How long does it take to cast? 2.8 seconds. I'll go ahead and do that. Here we go. Dazed and cannot be stunned. It's good to know. Um... bus still on there for it's already off how long does this thing last Fine. <laughs> Not flogging a figurehead. Futile. This one's for like <laughs> did you cast it bro cast the thing I told you to cast nope interrupt need an interrupt that's not very helpful oh good I need you bros to actually be focusing on these dudes. And can I do this? Come closer. And you couldn't heal. He's about to knock him up. No. Another interrupt. Got an interrupt on there. Nice. Uh, but it still went through for whatever reason. That's lame. And upsetting. Um, I do want the accuracy, though. Oh. 
That's not very helpful. Next time. Okay. Everything's kind of dead. So I think this is summoning bad dudes. We're going to try and interrupt it. That's not very helpful. It does interrupt it, but he just keeps ca casting it. So expose vulnerabilities. Try and ex uh, make it stop again. In fact, I'll go ahead and do this, which should interrupt on a hit. See you, must me to them. Not a stretch. Where did he go? Another. And he got the cast off? What was that? What just happened? Is that what happens when I this spell happens? Reaches a psychic cow in the target's area, stunning the target as well as dealing raw damage and interrupting all nearby enemies. It doesn't say anything about taking him to another dimension. Okay, so now we have grubs again. Uh, nature's mark on him. Summon a thing. Um. Problem is it'll get my friend stagnant it. Confuse it maybe? And then we'll use the thing. Uh -uh, didn't Let's work. get started. Yeah. No uh. mercy. I don't like that you got flanked. about to knock somebody up. Do I have another interrupt? That does not interrupt. None of those interrupt. Do you have like a knock up? You'll kick him? Maybe that'll interrupt him. Um. Here we go. Really? It interrupted! Sweet. Okay, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. good. Who's still really low? You're still really low. Uh, consecrate ground. I think we lost our accuracy too. We did. So once he's, once you actually get back up to real fighting level, you can be useful again. Well, Kara, that actually sounds awesome. I hope you enjoy the new bed cover. I'm Jelly. I this couldn't one. get the interrupt off in time. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This isn't working. Oh, I'd be a, a tick from feeding the fishes. I'm in over my head. I know you are. I actually have second wind. I got knocked down before I could use it though. Another for the queen. I don't know what you're doing, but it it's probably bad. <laughs> of course you kill me. Okay. Um you have 90. Pain blocker. You have some spells. Summon some tentacles, I guess. That hardly seems fair. Oh, 
Worse than rough. Darkness flow. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Don't knock it till you try it. Bumps on pickles are great. Can I actually just move away and not get hit by that? No, I can't. Even when you're ca you're casting something. How may I help? I'm gonna test if I can run away. Oh. I am not going to save it yet, just in case I can't get my people back. Captain. So I can't just get them back. Dang it. Oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do here? You know what, let's... let's Let's see if I'm missing something simple. How do I get out of the old city in PoE 2? There's a boat on the far right. So how do I get there? Old city ruins, old city ruins. Um, cliff steps, Gullet falls. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go right now, but I can't do this fight, I can't hit him cannot hit him. I was doing fine for like a third of his health, but I ran out. I'm going to run out of spells. I need my levels. So we're going to try and go back to the uh, the docks and hopefully find a way out, maybe. If we could fight our way through pirates, we might do that. But how do I get out of here? I think it's this. Undercroft. Why is it so hard? Actually, I love that it's hard. But again, we are just severely ahead of our our depth right now. You come upon a weathered skiff, paint peeling, and rocks languidly in the water. Row to Queen's Berth. Silent as a becalm sea, you row through the narrow cavern into Nakataka Bay, making your way to Queen's Berth. 
We escaped! Oh man. Apparently I'm not the only one that had that problem because I, I just checked, how the heck do I get out of here since I'm not supposed to be here early? And they're just like, go to the, go to the little boat place. There's a boat on the right. Oh. Now we can sell and we can do more of those other quests. Yeah, we never even came down here. All right. Which one of us am I thinking of now? Uh, you'll be thinking of the Watcher. That's ten in a row. I have some talent you got. Aye, oh, the talent of noticing who you be glancing at before you ask me who you be thinking of. <laughs> no sooner do you approach the Valian woman than she squints and turns up her nose, regarding you with thinly veiled distance. Distaste. I only deal with serious clients. Now shoo. What sort of business are you in? Not the business of answering questions, Nazenale. Madiko. But it is impossible to find skilled work when every competent freelancer wastes their shore leave in the wild mare. When blood travels south of their brains, the value of a good bounty is forgotten. You give out bounties? You, a nameless face of the streets? She thumbs her chin and gives you a thorough looking over. I do not make a habit of shepherding new talent, but... Ak, there is a seed of potential. She sighs to herself and peers over your shoulder before giving up and addressing you directly. We will cut your teeth on Biakara, a Juana sailor and would-be patriot who plagues company ships. I'll take the bounty. Gilarde! Biakara sails a voyager scale of Tangaloa off of Hasongo's northeastern coast. She studies you once more before shrugging and seeing you off with a wave. Uh, before you go, I had some questions. Questions? Ask your questions, Aimiko. Actually, I don't. None of that really mattered. Cool. So that's another quest that we could have done we before we went down the to the depths. If you want to be difficult, Aimiko, kindly leave. If Luca doesn't see reason, the Duape will lose their lands. For their sake, I must. That's enough out of you. Good day. Is this another quest we could have done? The young Juana wears a stern frown. He meets your approach with the flicker of a welcoming smile, but it dies down quickly. Please, I must ask a favor. He shies back from making eye contact, keeping his head lowered. What say? Do you have business with the Valian Trading Company? Uh, what seems to be the problem? My people of the Duape. We signed a contract with the company. Twina looks toward the headquarters with a despondent frown. We were not understanding the terms at the time. I wish to... What say? Renegotiate. But the clerks turn me away. Tell me about the contract. My father, the Ranga, took payment from the company. In exchange, they dig for Audra. He speaks with more confidence, as if these words were rehearsed several times over. He did not understand the Valian way. When he dies, the Outlanders will claim our island for themselves. Oh, that's rude. Father has fallen ill. And the clerk, Luca, stands by the agreement as surely as if it was stamped in his skin. Hmm. Hmm. I like being clever over the, the rep. Because we have this is insight and it's clever. I'm guessing the company didn't didn't like someone challenging their unfair deal. Akira. When the Valian clerk learned I was from the Duape, he became very anxious. I made my appeals to Luca, but my words were as stones dropped down the deepest well. While I am barred from the company office, I can do nothing for my people. He worries one of the many tassels uh, adorning his garb. Wow, this is even an option to be shady and to bluff to make him pay us. I'll be with Luca. Maybe we can arrive at a more agreeable terms. Akira, my thanks. I will remain here by day until justice is done. Cool. That's another quest we didn't have before. What is this? You duck down the canal and find yourself kneeling before an iron gate. The reek of sewage wafting from the other side is powerful enough to bring tears to your eyes. The iron bars are firmly into the surrounding brick, barring any passage onward. Inspect. Solid, but exposure to the elements has torn has worn away at the surrounding brickwork. 
I don't see a reason to go into the sewer yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, what are our quests here? That's not it. We can return to him, but that's, that's not the right cornet. Find this dude. How do I make this, like... There's no active quest pointing us in the direction. But anyway, so we're in Queen's Birth. Mention Laro and his friends often carouse at a tavern, Southwestern Bridge. Okay. Remember, our goal here is to get more experience and get that level. A giant? One of the Rathun? No, much bigger. Such is the rumor. Sounds like sailor tales to me. Yeah, commoner, I agree. Also, if we find a merchant, we can sell like half, like so much stuff. Stuff. It's just, just stuff. Road south. Is this not the, is the tavern not, he it's not here. It's probably past here. South exit. The wild mare. I think that's where we're supposed to go. Right? I think so. Cobbler. Pillars Canal. Right. Okay. Some progress is going to happen. By golly. Welcome to the Wild Mare, friend. A jovial man at the bar grins and motions you closer. His arms are corded with thick muscle and cross-stitched, cross-hatched with scars. Now, what can I do for you? Show what you have for sale. You see anything you like? You let me know. It's more like what you would like, because I'm going to sell you so much stuff. One cast with... Plus one casts with what level one spells and plus one to all skills. We need to be doing that. Uh, I'm not going to use the fine sword. going to keep that. I kind of like dual wielding, so I'm not going to worry about this guy. It's an exceptional sword, though. How much does it get? How much should I get for it? Especially if I get 1,200 for it. Holy cow. Um... Stash. Weapons. Uh, we already have a fine hanging bow. Don't need that grimoire. We got a bunch of those. We had two of those. Yeah, we're making some bank. Five wands. Um, I don't think you need to find hatchet either. Hey, give me money. Okay, what else do you have? I could do with some more rice. Because again, that's 10% damage reduction. Um, I think we're good on water. We're not. Hmm. We need to get some water for that. Do we? Ha and we have hard. We have some hard tack. We're fine. Um. This is all the stuff we literally just sold him. Okay, cool. Lasts for one rest. So when we go back down there, we're gonna we're gonna get like rest at a tavern. Seems like the optimal thing to do. Do you enjoy a coin, my friend? Can you lift a sword? Sounds like you want to talk Hello, to me. My friend. I knew our paths would cross eventually. Avalian shouts over the din of the wild mare to get your attention, turning a great many heads to study your exchange. He takes a hearty swig of his tankard. Uh, I'm going to wink because I like being clever. 
Uh, I, I'll bet you say that to all your clients. Que? No. You mistake me. I am not one of the courtesans. Tell me, you are the one who sails that fine ship, Ak? Terrorize the docks with spirits, Ak? Leaning in close, he sips from the tankard and loudly sucks moisture from his upper lip. Spiff, Captain of the Defiant, at your service. I am Aboko, and I am positioned to offer... Uh, I have opportunities for... He clumsily unfolds a sheaf of parchment. The tankard slips from his grip and spills ale down the front of his trousers. He gawks down at himself in horror. The wasted beer. A thousand times I practiced my speech. Merda. Never did it go this poorly. Just tell me what you want. I am supposed to be in the business of giving bounties, but I know no one who hunts them. He stamps his feet, kicking up a spray of spilled ale. No one will unfurl their sail for my humble payments. But I must start from the bottom and work my way to the top, Ak. What bounties do you have available? You... you will take the job? You will take the job. He grips you by the shoulders and smiles, te tears springing to the corners of his eyes. I didn't say that, I just said, what do you have available? Agrasima. Something special for my first hunter, then. Oh, he's trying to make this a thing. Okay. He drains the tankard and tucks it under his arm to retrieve his sheaf of notes. Ah, I will start you on Meriel, the mad animancer. She tortures her victims with unspeakable treatments before casting what's left to Bereth's will. I'm okay killing that guy. My contacts saw her leaving Port Maje and heading west of Maje Island. Okay. I'll return with her head. Yeah, we should have hung out down here just so much more. That's already a ridiculous amount of more stuff that we can... Where in the blazes is that old man? Oh, look! Another quest we should have done first. A young woman lingers near the stage with a mug of ale clutched tight in her hands. Though she shows no interest in the dancers, the bags beneath her eyes speak to many long nights spent drinking in the tavern. She looks lazily about the room until her gaze alights on you with interest. Have you seen an old elf hanging around here lately? Dress is funny, probably drunker than an eel in a barrel of mead. Uh, as serendipity would have it, I met him not long ago. I don't remember that. You have? Where? Oh, wow. We explored a pyramid on our way here, and this dude got executed by him. In a homogenous pyramid dedicated to Wodica, out in the middle of nowhere. Don't keep me in suspense. What happened to him? He died. I don't feel like lying to her. Did he have any coin on him? Old Coot owed me 5,000 copper. Despite her wor cold words, tears begin to well in her eyes. She blinks them away without comment. Uh, no, the man was flat broke. Andres pendulous teats, that charlatan cheated me. She slams her fist down on the table. Thanks for the information. I can't say I like what I heard, but I'm glad to be done with this nonsense all the same. Khan gives you a curt nod and downs the remainder of her drink in one gulp. She hustles out the door without pausing to look back. That's too bad. And we never would have act. We probably... I wonder if we would have been sent to find him if we came in here first. Hi, dancers. Quit snooping? Okay. Dang it. I wanted to steal your stuff, but you're sitting right there. Dang it! Oh wait, this isn't stealing. Thanks. What over here? Nah, that's stealing, dang it. I'm not gonna worry about that before. Cool, we got some great quests that are not on the island. And we were able to sell a bunch of our stuff. And get a boatload of money. I'm all okay with all of that. But right now, we're, we didn't find the dude. We're supposed to be finding a dude in this city. There's the Kilmer or whatever. 
Uh, Fine Laro. Mentioning his friends often carouse at, a, at the tavern, the southwestern bridge, and behind the district's waterfall. So we'll try behind the waterfall. Okay, commoner. I was wondering if you were a named person the calling my name. The is at the palace, blaming the Valians for attacking one of their ports. Well, did they? Of course not. But the queen must calm them down before they go to war over it. Palace. Of course. Something about Luminous Adra. A giant. Oh yeah, we can. Um... All I know is that they're all at each other's throats. Up there. Against the backdrop of jeering use, a young woman raises her arms with an air of practiced drama. Before her, two men stand across from each other, mirroring scowls. You both attest that you have made all possible efforts to come to a peaceful... The woman trails off as you approach, and you find yourself the sudden target of the crowd's attention. I did not send for anyone to preside over our contest. Oh, because we have a good... Th oh, this is the dude, though. Where are you? Which one is you? No? You didn't hire a bodyguard, cow. We have business. What do you want? Aristocrat is a combination of bluffing, intimidating, and diplomacy. Ah, but you're a witness now. You can 